Welcome back to CLE Weekend. You know, so they can be found maybe at your dinner table. Add a certain something to your meal. Some others are simple, others are elaborate. Do you feel like we're playing a, a game of guess who? I do, but listen, they can bring people together from all across the world. There's even an 80s hip hop group that reminds you of them. Okay, do you know, what am I talking about? Salt and pepper shakers. How cute are these? Here to share her love of them is Debbie Lugo. So, uh, I, I mean, love, this is like amazing, the spread that you've brought. Thank and, you. and I'm sure this probably isn't even like a portion of what you've got. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I couldn't bring them all. Um, <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal. You are actually a member of the Novelty Salt and Pepper Shakers Club. So first of all, let's talk about this. What is the club? Uh, the club is a group of collectors from all over the world. Uh, we have members in Alaska and uh, Abu Dhabi. Wow! Yeah. Uh, Canada, Europe, all over the world. And we all get together, all different backgrounds, and we get together once a year mainly. Oh. Uh, we also have local chapters where we get together uh, throughout the year okay. and have local meetings. Now, is there a, a Shaker Olympics too? That's the, the theme of this year's Oh, it is? Convention. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so do you bring all like your salt and pepper shakers? Well, some people bring shakers and some people just come empty handed so that they can shop. Oh, okay. So I'm saying salt and pepper, like I'm doing the whole thing. You just say shakers. Yes. Like if I was like one of the people in the club, I would know you just call them shakers, <laughs> right? I, I don't do, I do the whole thing. Um, but this is amazing. And I mean, there are so many different kinds that we've got here. What do you think is like, I mean, the biggest draw, which why people go out and buy the different ones? I mean, they're cute. <laughs> Plain and simple, they are. They are cute. That's why I actually, little secret, have my own collection. Now I brought in, this right here is mine, nothing like Debbie's, um, but I have probably about 30 at home. And I love them, all the different varieties. Again, not as many as you. You have like all different sections here. Kind of tell me what you've brought. Like I see the characters back here. I have characters. I have some convention sets. Um, Every year at convention, there are um, a, a set made for the convention. Oh, that's fun. So it's it's unique and you can buy it uh, through the convention. And yeah. so you have a memory of the convention. This was from this one was from my first convention. So it holds a nice special memory. Yes. Oh, okay. And this one right here was uh, privately made by one of, one of the members of the club. Oh, nice. So we also have um, nodders that, that actually nod in their base. <laughs> there's people, there's animals. These little dogs even have a whistle on their ear. Stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, it really is so unique. You know, people who go out and they buy shakers, I, I'm saying it right now, shakers, <laughs> I'm right in there. Um, where do they buy them mostly? I mean, where do you see it? Uh, you can buy salt and pepper shakers just about anywhere. I mean, you can go to your local store and sometimes yeah. like I'll find them at the grocery store even. Um, Cracker Barrel is one place. Oh, Okay, I, I think these are Cracker Barrel. These might be, yeah, it's so true. This one, my husband bought the little like phone, <laughs> which are just fun. And I think like my husband now has a love for it, right? Because he knows I like to have them. And I'm sure people gift them to you all the yes. time because they know how much you love. Now it can be made out of different like materials too. It's not always gonna be the same. Right, right. There's all different types of material. There's um, some wood ones right there up in the front. Yeah. Um, and then there, those were made in Kenya. Wow. And then there's uh, a little metal set up there, which was uh, a memory, of, a memorial of the 1965 World's Fair in New York. Wow. And there's plastic, which actually that's also a three part. It has a napkin holder and the cow shakers. Oh, I love that. What's the most unique one you've ever seen? <laughs> I did that's, I jump you that's, there? That's hard to say what's the most unique. I don't know. What's your There's favorite? So many. Do you have a favorite? No. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, that's a hard question to ask. I think they're all, though, so fun and unique. Now, price ranges, typically, I mean, I've seen ones that are like two bucks, but I mean, they could probably go for a lot, though. This yeah, point. salt and pepper shakers can go online, especially vintage. Uh, like this this example, the mice are from Holt Howard. Okay. Um, and it's, it's a popular maker of vintage stuff. Um, and I've seen upwards of $300. Wow, okay. That's... And some sterling silver. Even yeah. Like so the convention coming up, is this open to anyone? If we wanted to make it a point to go or do you have to be a member? 
you don't have to be a member per se. To be a member, it obviously has much more much more benefits. Yeah. Um, but you can get a day pass Monday through Thursday for thirty dollars. Oh, nice. Okay, I like the sound of that. Um, you know, if people you know want to explore, get more information, even to go to the convention or something like that, what's the best place to do that? Um, saltandpepperclub.com. Saltandpepperclub.com. Yeah, and there's a, a yearly membership for okay. $20. Nice. And you can be a member, and if the day pass would change actually to $25 from $30 if you're a member. Okay. Um, if you came on the weekend days, it's a little bit more, but you yeah. get to shop throughout the rooms because they're shopping throughout the rooms. I you can uh, view the ongoings of the day. Yeah. We have costume contests <gasps> and oh, uh, that play like contests. Fun. Yeah, it's like you're always looking for something fun to do, and now my husband's like, great, he's got a good Christmas gift for me. He's probably going to buy me a membership, so I may <laughs> see it at the next one now. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much for bringing in this awesome spread. I love it, and I can't wait to just like take my time now to go through and look at all of them. So thank you again. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. We'll be right back on CLE Weekend.